we're now going to have a look at putting some dimensions around our building. On the Annotate tab, go to the Aligned dimension, and we want to change the options to Wall Faces and Entire Walls rather than Individual References. This then brings up the options, and for the first dimension line, the one closest to the building, I'm going to use the intersecting walls and just click OK. We point at the wall, click with the mouse and just bring the mouse down a little bit and click again. And then we can do that on each side of the building. Just take it out past the door openings there. OK. Now, as we look at this, we will see that we've got all of these long lines for the leaders. It doesn't look the best. So I'm just going to edit type, duplicate, and call it um, no leader. And say OK. And the witness line control, gap to element, I'm going to say fixed to dimension line. OK. And then what I'm going to do is click on these and just multi-select by holding down the control button and change them to the one I've just created. That one there, no lead up. And now we can see that these witness lines are no longer going across the drawing itself, but they're staying nice and tight on the dimension line, which looks much neater. Then I'm going to go back to doing some more dimensions, again aligned. So I click the Options button again, get rid of the intersecting walls, click Openings, change it from Centres to Width, click OK. Now I'm only going to do this on the front and back because there are no openings on the sides of my building. And then back to options, get rid of the openings, click OK. And this time I'm going to do a full length on one side and a full width across the top. And then escape twice. And there we have quickly dimensioned the outside of the building. Let's just say you did want some other dimensions on there. Let's do another one that is aligned. And we'll do an individual reference this time. And we'll go from that opening there to the kitchen unit and just dimension that as being 560. So we can see you can add extra little dimensions as well. Maybe this wall here. I want one for that as well because I haven't got that one shown on the outside because it doesn't intersect. So I could do again just another one across here. And I might just reposition this a little bit. so that the text doesn't overlap each other. And I'll just do another one by here. So what I've done is I've picked up the vast majority of the dimensions around the outside of the building, but then I've just gone and put a couple extra ones here and there on the inside using those two different methods.